What up, beautiful people? It's your boy Mundus, and I want to welcome you to the Shine Life family. I'm back again with another beautiful daily devotional today from Rhapsody of Reality. This is a daily devotional I use. It's by Pastor Chris. It's like a widely read, widely distributed devotion in the whole world. And every single day, uh, we just go through it, you know, studying the scriptures, learning God's word. It's a, it helps us understand the scriptures, understand God's word, and build our faith. And today we're talking about discipline yourself to pray. So we're going to talk about today's Bible studies about prayer. And how we can um, discipline ourselves to pray and how we can position ourselves to pray every single day. So if it's your first time watching this, welcome to the family. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you be part of this family and stay to the end because I want to pray with you. I want to join my faith with your faith. Let's come together, join our faith together. No matter what you believe in God for, when two or more gather, you can be sure we can have results. So I hope you had a great day, a successful day. Without further ado, let's get into it. We're talking about discipline yourself to pray. Our theme scripture is taken from the book of Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6. I'll read this and, and then we can discuss this. So today's daily devotional says, Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto, unto, unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power. But by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. So Pastor Chris says, true success is spiritual, based on spiritual principles. If you're going to be successful in anything, you must learn to take charge from the realm of the spirit. And the primary way to do that is through prayer. When you learn to bow your knees and discipline yourself to pray, There'll be nothing you can change or achieve. Wow, wow, wow. This is important. So we're talking about training ourselves. We understand it's not, the theme scripture actually answers, it says, not by might, no by power, but by the spirit. And we're living in those perilous times, those times where <laughs> human wisdom is being has no solution to the problems the world faces right now. It's the world uh, um, is facing so many things, so many challenges, and it feels like there's no answers and no solutions. And the only way we can change things is from the spiritual realm, because the spirit realm gives birth actually to the spirit, uh, to the physical realm. This is important for us to understand. We need to know what place is the superior realm, you know, the unseen world gave birth to the seen world. And I want to show you this in the scriptures because I don't want to just be saying it like it's a cliche. Oh, yeah, we should assume it. What, what does the word of God say? Let's find this out. So I am reading the book of Hebrews chapter 11 in verse. Huh. Let's start from verse. Start from verse one. It says, now faith is the substance. Of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For it, for by it the elders obtain a, a, a good report. Through faith, we understand. Through faith, we understand the words were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made from the things which do appear. <laughs> That's big. It says, through faith, we know how we have this understanding. The worlds. The courses of life, the system, the, the aeon, that's the Greek word, were framed by the word of God. It says, the things which you see, you see were not made for what you see. The seen materiality of the world did not come from seen things. The whole world did not come from physical things that existed. He says, the things which you see appeared from what you don't see. And that's the spirit world. The spirit world created the world. Um, let's go to, how did this happen? Let's find that out. Let's go to Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, God created. So God is a spirit and he existed the, 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 the physical world. He pre-existed the physical world. And God, who is a spirit, created a physical world. It says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and earth, and the earth was there form 
uh, 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 verse 3 says, And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. The origin of the seen realm came from the spiritual realm. So the spiritual realm is the original uh, origin. It's the original origin of the physical realm. So that shows us the importance of if we have to have any change in this world, we need to go beyond this world and make the changes in the, in the spiritual kingdom, in the spiritual realm, because the spiritual realm controls this physical plane. So Pascal said, some Christians think life is a joke. They pray three minutes and they're done. Even while they're praying, they are distracted by everything else. Then at the end of the day, they wonder why thing, why certain things happened that has made them victims in life. Discipline yourself to pray. Make it a conscious part of your routine. Your nightmares will be over once you discover the efficacy of prayer. When you take charge and change things in the realms of the spirit, they will manifest in the earthly realm. When Deborah and Barak fought against Sisera and his armies, the Bible says they fought from the heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. That's in Judges chapter 5 verse 20. Oh, 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 oh. You know, in the book of Ephesians chapter 6. If you notice, if you've been following uh, the videos I've been doing, the rhapsody, it's been, we're talking about the spiritual kingdom and life is spiritual. And we live in the times where so many things are happening. You'll be probably here, the coronavirus. There's so many things. There's so much turmoil, so much panic. Because life is spiritual. We're dealing with spiritual forces, demonic forces, which are causing havoc in the world. And we can't fight these forces from this natural plane. We can't go and fight from the physical plane. We really lose that battle. This because the, the enemy is not the physical, is not in the physical. The one that's responsible for the for the manifestations of all these things is the devil and his de uh, and his demons of darkness. And they're in the spiritual kingdom. So for us to engage these forces, we don't engage them in this plane. We engage these forces in the spiritual world. And how do we do that? Through prayer, through the word. This is our weapons, the weapons of our warfare. Oh, this, let me show you this because we look at the scriptures right here. I don't want you to assume I'm just making this up. Uh, so let's find this up. So, yeah, I am reading the book of Second Corinthians. Chapter 10, in verse, let's start from verse 3. It says, For though we walk in the flesh, we don't war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Oh, 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 oh. Amen. Let's look at the Amplified Version. Let's look at Amplified Version. It says, For though we walk in the flesh, we are not carrying our warfare according to the flesh and, and using mere human weapons. Did you see that? So we, we know the enemy. We're dealing with the enemy that we know clearly this is the devil we're dealing with. The, the world might not know it's the devil. They might think the world in the, in the physical realm the devil, if someone says the, the, the coronavirus and the, and the problems in the world is the devil and the devils of darkness respond, people look at you like, you're crazy. What do you mean? This is science. This is biology. This is a virus. And we need to treat it. But we, we need to figure out a vaccine. We need to come up with biology. We need to figure it out. Because they don't have that insight of the, 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 the spiritual realm. But we, 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 we have that insight. Um, because he says, we don't war, we don't use physical weapons. And and the, and the, and the beautiful, and, the, and they're not the beautiful, uh, the, 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 he says, our warfare, he says, we are not carrying on our warfare according to the flesh, using mere human weapons. I want you to know, warfare. We in war. This is war. Oh my goodness gracious. We are in battle. We are in battle. And it's, it's like the Spirit of God has been trying to communicate this for us this whole month. 
if you go watch the previous videos of Rhapsody, it's just been like, hey, life is spiritual. Prepare. This is battle. This is battle, battle, battle. We're in a warfare. You might be thinking, oh, no, but there's nothing to, you know, I just want to be peace. There's nothing to walk. The, the scripture says we're in war. He says, though we walk in the flesh, we are not carrying our warfare. There's a warfare? You mean there's a war? Who are we warring against? He says, though we're not, we, we're not carrying our warfare according to the flesh, using mere human weapons. So we have weapons. He says, for the weapons of our warfare are not physical. These are spiritual weapons. Weapons of, they're not physical weapons, weapons of flesh and blood, but they are mighty before God to the overthrow. Oh my goodness, I like that. For the overthrow and destruction of strongholds, for the overthrow and the removal of this coronavirus, you need to understand as a Christian, that's why we need to pray. Uh, we need to discipline. Uh, today's we're talking about discipline ourselves in prayer and to wait in prayer. Because we need to win this warfare until we win. Because this war is is a spiritual war. There's a spiritual kingdom, a war. We are war. The devils of darkness with the kingdom. Let me show you who who we, who we are war with. Um, but before I show you that, I want you to notice that it says for the overthrow is an overthrowing that has to take place. The devils of darkness have to be overthrown. In the destruction of their strongholds and all these viruses they brought, we need to destroy them in the realms of the spirit. And all the results will manifest here in the physical realm when they say, okay, now we have solved the problem, but we'll have to war in the air. We'll have to fight in the heavenly realms. That's where the battle has to take place. The scene of war is being set. The battlefield is in the spirit realm. It's not in this physical plane. We are not going to war here. He says, Sisera, they fought from heaven. They fought from the heavenly realms. And I like what I like about here, he says, in so much we fit argument theory, the reason is he says, we bring into captivity every thought that exalts itself. We bring into captivity. Captivity. These devils of darkness can be brought to captivity. We can bind these evil forces. I mean, it might sound like a movie. But these are spiritual realities. These are spiritual realities that exist. There are spiritual chains. There are spiritual bindings that take place. Spiritual battles that take place in the realms of the spirit. No, this is true. This is for real. This is not a movie. This is not a joke. This is this is this is what's happening in life. So when we people don't see, they, they don't, they can't see beyond that realm. They just we, we look at things from this realm. We might think it's just human. Oh, you have viruses. Uh, problems just happen on their own, but we don't understand the devils of demons of darkness that are responsible for this. Let me show you this actually. Uh, it's in the book of Ephesians. I've shown this several times. If, if you go watch the, the previous rhapsodies, the Spirit of God has been saying this to us life is spiritual, life is spiritual. Uh, whoa, I mean, get you know, we need to do something about this. We need to, um. Oh my goodness gracious me. Look at the amplified translation of this. Um, so amplified Ephesians chapter 6. Um, verse 12 says, We are now wrestling with flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents, but against disposites, disposit, how do you say that word? Dispositisms against the powers, against the master spirits who are the world rulers of this present darkness. Did you see that? He says we are fighting against master spirits who are the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the supernatural sphere. Oh, Lord. These are the beings that we are fighting with. Spirit beings that control the realms of darkness in this world, that are responsible for the evil in the world. Satan has put generals in charge. Oh man, I don't want to get deep into that. But like, um, what's that? Just drop that. But you understand, we need to understand why we need to pray. He says, this is the people we're fighting with. Rulers of the present darkness, spiritual weak forces in the wicked, in, of wickedness in the heavenly realms, in the supernatural sphere. 
That's why it's put on the whole arm of God. Then it says, stand there for having your loin. Go read the whole thing. But I want to go to take the helmet of salvation from verse 18 says, pray at all times, on every occasion, in every season, in the spirit, with all manner of prayer and entreaty. To that end, keep alert. Watch with strong purpose and perseverance, interceding in behalf of the saints, God's consecrated people. And pray for me also that freedom and interest may be given to it, road to the mission of the gospel, which I'm ambassador. See, since you gotta be a lot, we have to be a lot in prayer, always, because this is how we war. This is our warfare. These are our spiritual wars. These are our spiritual weapons. Prayer is a spiritual weapon against the enemies of darkness. We are praying all the time until we bring them to captivity, until we stop their maneuvers. We stop, we totally overthrow them. We need to overthrow these forces of darkness because if we don't, they will keep on wrecking havoc in the earth. We have the name of Jesus. This is actually a better transition. Pastor Chris, by the way, and Pastor Benny Hinn are having a... Let me actually read this first before we talk about them. Let's finish this. So Pastor Chris said, the spirit realm is where you set the circumstances of your life to control whatever happens in the natural realm, in the natural world and laugh your way through. You become like David, a mystery and a wonder to your world. Glory be to God. Let's take this prayer together. Why don't you say this after me? Precious Father, thank you for the opportunity to receive the ministration of your spirit through prayer. As I give attention to commune with you, my eyes are open to spiritual realities and your thoughts are unveiled to my spirit causing me to walk in dominion victory and ever increasing glory in jesus name amen and amen you can read romans chapter 8 verse 26 to 27 ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 to 5. wow 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 i want you to let, let me know in the comment just type in i'm praying always i'm praying always this is our new disposition, our, our new disposition of warfare. I'm praying always. It doesn't mean like now nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to do anything else. No, it's a consciousness. Just, I want you to have this consciousness like, hey, if it's time to pray, I can pray. I'll pray. And it's just cultivating. Now we're talking about this. It's cultivating a discipline of prayer. And that's why we pray here every single day from 730. I'm, I go live and we pray for 15 minutes. Based on the prayer point, we're praying with Pastor Chris for the whole year. So he sends out prayer points every day or every other day. And we pray based on those points, following a prayer chain. There's a, there's a global prayer chain going on, 24-hour prayer chain for the whole world. I mean, for the whole year. So we're just taking, we just praying for 15 minutes. So if you have not taken part in that, make sure you take part. It's going to be one tonight from 7.30 GM, GMT London time. So make sure you take part. And that would be amazing. So it's, it's one of the ways to cultivate... Um, a discipline to pray you know what i mean you, you might just start for 15 minutes and then you start building it up and you're doing 30 minutes on your own you could be even praying for one hour you could you can just go as long as the spirit of god leads you so but just know this is a weapon prayer is a weapon we are we are really especially when we speak in tongues arresting these demonic forces bringing them to captivity because these devils have to be bound you have to understand that because they will run rampage we have the name of Jesus and the authority to do so. Oh, and this Friday, Pastor Chris, depending on when you're going to watch this video, anyway, on the 27th of what month are we in? On oh, March. 27th of March, Pastor Chris and Pastor Benny Hinn are having a prayer, a global day of prayer. So if you can take, that will be great. It's going to be on YouTube. It's going to be on Level TV. Make sure you watch a, a video on my channel on this. I did a promo on this. Just go type for it. Global Day of Prayer with Pastor Chris and Pastor Benny Hinn. We're praying, praying, praying. The world is facing so many tough times and we need to pray. We need to pray for our loved ones. We need to pray for the world to heal the world. We need to stop the devils of darkness to dest from destroying our world. Because if we don't do anything, the devil will. He says, the thief comes to kill, destroy we can't let him do that. We are the restraining force. So we have to stop this. And that's why you're having a global day of prayer. Make sure you join. Tell all your friends. Tell all your f uh, family. Let them join in. It's going to be on Love World TV. Love World TV USA. Love World TV UK. 
uh, on youtube just type in pastor chris global day of prayer you'll find it uh yeah you see you you need to be part of it so if you're watching this and you're not born again i want to pray with you first so that you can receive salvation jesus died for you on that cross and god raised him from the dead and i want to pray for you so that you can receive jesus as your lord and savior so say this after me oh lord god i believe with all my heart in jesus christ son of the living god i believe he died for me and god raised him from the dead I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. If you said that prayer, congratulations, you're born again. As simple as that. Welcome to the family. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because we learned the word here. That will build your faith. This is important. We need, there's so much fear going on out there. And you need to receive God's word in your spirit because faith comes by hearing the word. So you need to hear God's word, not fear. You need the word of God stored in your spirit. Lay up the word. Fortify your spirit in God's word. Turn off the fear. You know, the greater one lives in you. So welcome to the family. Congratulations. Thank you. And I want to pray for everyone else. I pray the blessings of God will go with you. The blessings of God will rest upon you and your family. That you stay safe, you're protected, no harm befalls you, no evil befalls you. No, the Lord lifts you up. The Lord moves you forward. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord keeps you. The Lord protects you in all your affairs, in all that concerns you. Thank you, precious Father. We worship you. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us the scriptures. Thank you, Lord, for moving us forward. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, wow, wow. Congratulations. So I hope to see you tonight, uh, 7.30 GMT. Don't forget, uh, 27th, Friday, Pastor Chris and Pastor Benny Hina paying 7 p.m. GMT, 2 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. It's going to be on Love World TV. Love World USA. Just type that on YouTube. If you want to watch it on YouTube, you can't miss this. It's going to bless you tremendously. So until tomorrow or until tonight, you know what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.